Your Emerald Cod Show. Tonight I'm going to make a dish that I love that my father made. I made it before in a video, but I did it as a side. But tonight I'm going to do it exactly how my father did it. My father was a great chef. He's right from Naples. 50 years in this country and he never lost his accent. He didn't want to. So this, this eggplant, I just cut a little piece of it. My father took just about that much of the eggplant. He used that part and he did it like this. He didn't use the inside. And I wanted to show you that. I mean, if you wanted to take this technically, soak it a little bit, get this, uh, the bitterness out from the seeds, you could bread it a little bit, fry it, have a little bit of fried eggplant on the side. You don't have to waste anything. So I wanted to show you that if you try to cut eggplant like this, you need a saw, okay? And one of the good things to do with eggplant is to use a serrated bread knife. Get right through it if you wanted to do it that way. So you're using a regular knife, you flip it over. So I'm gonna make cubes like this, about that size. This is exactly how my father did it. Over the years, I've changed it and I've done it 50 different ways, but tonight I'm doing it just like my father. Okay. I wanted to show you, I also have mushrooms. These are regular button mushrooms. It's one of those little things. I took about a quarter of it out because tomorrow I'm making stuffed mushrooms. Because what you do is, you don't need all the stems in this dish. So you cut the stems off. It's another one of my father's recipes. It's the way he stuffed his mushrooms. It's the first, it's one of the first appetizers I had on my menu 17 years ago when I had a restaurant, okay? So, I cut them just in like quarters, and I'm going to do this with olive oil because it soaks up so much of the oil, I don't want to use all olive oil. So you don't want to overcrowd the eggplant. You don't want to overcrowd it because you want, with this dish, the flavor comes from the eggplant being brown. So we're just going to leave that alone. And we're not going to salt it right away either because salt draws out more water of the eggplant. So I was going to just make it like, you know, get soggy and wet in there. We want to fry it. We don't want to steam it. And I can see I got room here for more. This is a big pan. That's why I used it. If it starts to brown, then we'll salt and pepper it. So I wanted to show you how they look when they're browning. So that's all flavor. You're releasing all the flavor from the eggplant and also when you're cooking eggplant you know it's just going to suck up the oil that's why you don't want to start with your extra virgin because you're going to be throwing your money down a drain so the olive oil is good and then when we're done frying it we're going to use our extra virgin to make our tomato sauce to go with it so i'm going to finish frying these and then i'm going to come back and show you what we do with the mushrooms this is the finished eggplant. So now, you can see there's no oil. It sucked it all up. I had to add oil twice. Doesn't matter. It's in there. It's flavor. So, I'm going to turn my gas back on. I'm going to add... Huh. There's enough in there. I didn't even see it. I couldn't see it. And we're going to add... Oh, one of the eggplants got away. It's in there. I'm going to add the mushrooms. Now, the thing about mushrooms... Don't let it scare you either. What's going to happen is you're moving these around. You got your oil there. First, it sucks up all your oil. And then it releases everything. So you want to just let it go. Let it cook. Don't be afraid of it. Let it cook. Uh, we're going to let that brown and we're going to come back. If you need to add oil, add it. Don't be afraid. So the mushrooms are brown nicely. Right. They look so good and they smell good. So now what I want to do, I'm just going to leave them there and I'm going to add extra virgin olive oil because right now I'm going to make our sauce. That's about two, two tablespoons, one, maybe one. And I have four cloves of garlic and I sliced it thin because I want it to cook up there. So you keep that little well there for it. And I cook the eggplant and the mushrooms real close to high. So we're going to move them out of the way and we want to get some color on these. It's okay if the mushrooms are mixed in with it. 
stuff. Garlic looks good. I'm gonna move that over and pour this back in. Now, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. I'm gonna turn my gas off. Salt. You always want to salt first what you're cooking. This is what I stress to people. You want to salt and pepper your product. I'm going to put this in I need. This is a 28 ounce can of San Mojano whole tomatoes that I crushed. And I did this just like my father. My father used a potato masher to smash them. And you can see how nice the consistency is. So, I'm going to turn my gas back on. And so I have about two tablespoons here of fresh. They're, they're, it's like half and half on the parsley. A little bit of my fresh oregano from my yard. And fresh basil. But remember, use any herb you like. But this is classic. This is how my father did it. And this is how I wanted to do it. I'm going to put just a drop, you know, like a, maybe a ladle, half a cup of the pasta water. I'm getting ready to put my pasta in. This is going to, by the time the pasta is done, this is going to be done. It's done. How fast can it be? The main thing is cutting and frying. And we'll be back in a minute. Empty the pasta. Now I have about nine ounces of pasta. So you can see it's a nice chunky sauce. And you don't have to add pasta water. I added almost a quarter cup but you don't have to you want that chunk you're going to put them in because you want to coat the pasta i tasted it always taste for salt and pepper look at how that is coating that pasta ah can you imagine i know you can taste it mm. my father all my friends would say Oh my God, your father's cooking for us tonight? And I'd say, yeah, what's he making? Eggplant mush, <laughs> it's always my choice. My father would say, right, yeah, and I know so many dishes from all over the world. You want me to make that again? I'd say, yeah. So I, of course, would let him make something else on the side. But my father was such an incredible chef. My mother was a great cook, and my father was a great cook. I had no choice in life but to cook. Okay, and so you can see the eggplant softens up and it coats it. It coats it. You don't have to think, oh, I need more sauce. This is the sauce. This is the sauce. Okay, so I'm going to plate this. Hit, aim for the middle. I always make a mess. Mm. Can you see that? I'm telling you. When you make this dish, you're going to thank me for this one. Really awesome. I'm going to do what he would have did. I'm going to top it with some shaved Parmesan cheese. And, you know, Pecorino Romano, Parmesan, whatever you like. Personally, I prefer Pecorino Romano, but I'm going to do it this way tonight. This dish is incredible. That's all I can say, okay? And you can see my chocolate cake in the background. Somebody on Facebook put that recipe up. That's all I had to do is see that. Maria made me the cake. I'll show it to you when it's cut. And I'm gonna have a nice Chianti Classico. Wanted to say, this is the dish, my father's dish, Frank Broncaccio. And it's eggplant and mushrooms. If you like the video, please share it. And please take photos or let me know when you make it, how you like it. I want to say stay safe to everybody and cheers.